The eyes that witness creation are not human eyes alone, they are the eyes of the universe itself. Eyes that have stared across the void for ages, that have watched stars ignite and fade, that have followed the silent ballet of galaxies twisting through the darkness. For as long as humans have existed, we too have lifted our gaze upward, believing that the heavens were simple, believing we understood the scattered lights above. We drew shapes between stars and turned them into stories, legends carved across the night sky. We mapped the heavens, named the constellations, and convinced ourselves that by recognizing patterns we had mastered the cosmos. But each time we thought we grasped the truth, the universe gently shattered our confidence. Each discovery revealed deeper layers, scales of immensity beyond the reach of imagination. And now, once again, the cosmos has rewritten our understanding. Not quietly, but with a revelation so immense that it challenges the foundations of everything we believed. The James Webb Space Telescope, with one image stretching back nearly 13.5 billion years, has forced humanity to confront a truth too vast for language. The universe is far larger, far older, and far more intricate than any theory predicted. The universe is not simply enormous, it may be infinite, in ways our physics cannot yet describe. What began as a mission to observe the first light has evolved into something far greater. Webb has not only found distant galaxies, it has exposed a hidden architecture, patterns, alignments, and structures woven into the very fabric of existence. Before Webb, there was Hubble. For more than 30 years, Hubble served as humanity's window into the deep universe. In a patch of sky the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length, Hubble revealed over 10,000 galaxies, each one a colossal island of suns. That single image pushed our understanding outward, hinting that the observable universe contains perhaps trillions of galaxies. But Hubble had limits. Its eyes could not see the oldest light, stretched into infrared wavelengths by the expansion of the cosmos. That is why Webb was created, to pierce the veil of time itself and witness the first dawn. When Webb unfolded its golden mirrors and turned toward the stars, the universe did not whisper. It roared. Webb captured light born near the beginning of everything, light carrying the story of creation across billions of years of cosmic evolution. Through this ancient glow, Webb revealed a universe far more organized, far more structured, far more mature than any model ever predicted. One of Webb's greatest surveys, COSMOS Webb, combined thousands of exposures to create the most detailed cosmic map in human history. Within that map, more than 780,000 galaxies. Not random, not chaotic, but arranged as if guided by an unseen skeleton of gravity and matter. Filaments of structure stretching across billions of light years, binding entire clusters into a grand design. Some galaxies appeared fully formed far earlier than they should exist. Spirals, mature clusters, and heavy elements appearing in eras where theory predicts only chaos. They shouldn't be there. But they are. These discoveries challenge the timeline of creation itself. Did the universe begin earlier than we think? Did cosmic cycles exist before the Big Bang? Or does time itself behave in ways we do not yet understand? Some scientists now consider a universe with no true beginning, a cosmos that expands, contracts, and renews endlessly. Others imagine dimensions of time layered like pages, where past and future overlap. Whatever the truth, Webb has shown us that the universe is not small, is not simple, is not finished. The observable universe, the part we can measure, map, and faintly comprehend, is a sphere roughly 93 billion light years wide. A number so large the human mind cannot truly grasp it. And yet, even this unimaginable expanse, may be nothing more than a tiny fragment of a far greater reality. A reality with no edges to contain it, no center to define it, and no boundary to bring it to an end. 
For generations, infinity was a poetic whisper, a word used to express possibilities too vast to calculate. But today, with every new discovery, with every ancient photon web pulls from the darkness, infinity feels less like poetry and more like scientific truth. And within that almost limitless ocean of stars, there stands humanity, small, fragile, and impossibly temporary. A species that exists for only a heartbeat compared to the life of galaxies. A fragile civilization on a pale blue world, orbiting a star that will one day fade, yet capable of reaching backward through time to witness the universe as it was shortly after the first spark of creation. That achievement alone is extraordinary. It means that in some strange, beautiful way, we are the universe awakening to its own existence. We are made of its dust, powered by its stars, and shaped by its laws. And now, through the James Webb Space Telescope, the universe, through us, is looking back at itself. Webb's images are not merely photographs. They are reflections of our deepest instincts, our curiosity, our daring, our refusal to accept mystery without seeking its source. Every galaxy captured in Webb's golden eye is a reminder that the story of creation is far from over. In truth, it is being rewritten before us, not in myths or ancient legends, but in light that has traveled billions of years to finally reach our world. This new chapter of the cosmic story is one of revelation. A reminder that the universe is not still, that it is alive with motion, with structure, with surprises waiting in every corner of the deep. Webb reveals galaxies that should not exist so soon, structures that should not be so organized, and patterns that challenge everything we once believed. Webb was built to reveal the unseen, and it accomplished that. But it also revealed something far greater, something profoundly human, our endless hunger for truth. It showed us that knowledge is not a destination. It is a doorway, one that opens into realms we never imagined. Realms where time behaves like an ocean, where matter we cannot see shapes everything we can, where creation may be a cycle, not a single moment. Where infinity is no longer unreachable, but a reality we are just beginning to explore. And beyond all the data, beyond the theories and measurements and diagrams, there is something else waiting for us, something ancient, boundless, and breathtaking. Webb has shown us that we are not merely observers. We are participants in a cosmic story older than stars themselves. A story still being written, still unfolding, still revealing chapters hidden in the deepest shadows. What lies beyond our understanding today may tomorrow become the next great revelation. And as long as we continue to look outward, as long as we continue to ask questions, the universe will continue to answer, one beam of ancient light at a time. Somewhere out there, in the vastness beyond anything we can imagine, something waits, timeless, boundless, and inexplicably beautiful. And now, for the first time in history, we have the eyes to see it.